Hi there, everybody. It's Alexi Billion here, uh, your tech design and contact teacher at Castle Brook. All right, so what we're going to do is um, just take these sketches for our futuristic city. You can see here basic forms, cylinders, tapered, spheres, and so on. Looking at this one again and build it in Maya. Okay, so that's where we're going to go, and a bit of emphasis between this drawing and uh, in this one, so one and three. Okay, cool. So go to Maya. Uh, this may end up being a series, who knows? We'll see how it goes. This is uh, our futuristic city uh, modeling simple shapes. Okay, so I'm just going to pop in a, a simple uh, cylinder here. And if you select this option right now and nothing comes up, for example, um, it means that a certain setting is not in place. So let's just go with that. Okay, display. I'm going to model, create, under create, polygon primitives. Okay, so you may have interactive creation on. So in this situation, if I select cube, I'll have to make a cube this way, which is really cool. Okay, otherwise what you have to go to, again, create polygon primitives and just in a, disable this one. Okay, so from front, every time I press a cube, at the XY0, if I press 4 right now, you can see that my uh, in wireframe, my cube is in an off, awesome spot. Okay, five for shaded. How cool is that? Okay, so take all this, press W, move, and off we go. And this one, see you later. So what I want to do is, um, again, um, I'll go down to Photoshop and look at this. Okay, let, let's start with something super simple. Okay, you've seen me do this in class, then I'll just do it again. All right, let's go with a cylinder. Love it. There it is. And let's look at this. Cylinder is a height of two. So how about we pop in one here, and it's on the ground plane. Okay, so let's bring a height of three for now. And uh, this goes to 1.5, and just, just for fun, okay? Um, at this point, what I want to do is uh, let's play with the edges. As you guys know, polygons, uh, these are made of faces, polys, and edges, and verts. Vertex are these little ticks, okay? So I'm going to be here, and I'm going to go to Edge Mode. Click once, double click, and press R. R is for scale. E is for move, W is for move. Uh, sorry, W is for move, E is rotate, R is scale. So, as I said before for you guys, um, this is tiny, hit plus, minus, but when we scale, uh, typically, most of the time, we scale out from the center, okay, unless we're going to squash a little later. So there's that piece, imagine that, right? And then just get out of it, always to get out, let's go to object, and then get out of the tool, W, okay? So here's my first piece, how cool, nice. All right, so again, uh, look, I'm Photoshop, and you can see that one, two, basically inverted, all that kind of stuff, right? Awesome back to Maya. Okay, so I'll make a new cylinder. And I know right now it's at it's at zero zero XY in the world space. Love that. So there's that piece. Awesome. Okay. So I'll do right now is I'll go to shading and apply wireframe on shaded. So if I click out I can see my edges. Sweet. So this one here it looks like it is a radius of one. So let's do 1.5. 1 1.5. Oh maybe too much. 1.25 just I just want like Okay, so there's that one, all right? So here's the piece, uh, duplicate, uh, command D, all right? And we'll get to the uh, options in a minute. So you can see right now, there it is, right? I'm gonna press E for rotate, and I'm gonna pay attention over here, okay? There's many other ways of doing this. So on the blue, I'm sticking to one axis. I'm not doing this, okay? So I don't want all three axes working, so I'll just zero that out. And again, I'm gonna press E for rotate, and I'm gonna pick one axis and watch what it is here. Okay, so ne negative, 28, so let's go to 90. Watch what happens. Cool. Double that. Negative 180. Sweet. So now, if I press W, not there, in here, W for move. Check it out. How awesome is that? Okay. So there's that structure. Let's get rid of this in the background. See ya. And you guys, bye bye. Okay. So there's that. And I'll duplicate this one. Command D. And press W. You don't see it, but you know it's there. Look at that. Okay, and this time around, let's make this one smaller because, as you know, uh, we want an indentation here. So let's go to poly cylinder. Unfortunately, this time around, I'm going to have to press R from the center, and we'll just go do something like this. W, and then bring that up. All right, so there's my piece. Cool. So this looks like a building starting, and let's go to Photoshop and see what's going on here. So we got one, two, okay, one more paper do some little caging up there or something right all right all right so let's just do this one command D, duplicate and all I'm gonna do is now make this one much smaller okay guys 
Again, R for scale. Yellow cube in the middle, always from the middle. W, move, bring it down. Okay, so my arrows are too big right now, so I just pressed the minus key to make my arrows, uh, my tripod smaller. So that's looking pretty cool. Um, and then, just for fun, what I had done here, and I suggest I want a bunch of cylinders, right? Okay, so we'll go to cylinder right there. You can see what I'm going to do is control this. So I'm going to go to point one. Ooh, yeah, height. Let's go to three. And W, bring this all the way up. Look at that. Okay, we're assuming there's some telephone, uh, some telephone, really. Uh, <laughs> 0 0.025, look at that. Yes, communication lines up here, people. That's what we're doing. Okay, so I've got one and clearly way too tall, but that's okay. Command W, uh, D again, duplicate. And of course, we can make that small if you want. Doesn't matter. So just, and then one more time, Command D, W to move, move it forward, and then to the right. Okay, so we're doing some communication tower up here, and these are our antennas and so on, right? little sci-fi so we're trying to do that and also perhaps we can add link uh, beacon up here or something okay let's assume this is a, uh, a balcony of some kind or a deck let's see if we can do this edge okay and I'm gonna press extrude right here and here's my little button and to even things out look at that that's pretty cool right okay so what I'll do right now is I'll just go to right click and go to face hold shift boom boom double click Extrude again. Normally we extrude from the blue axis. When it's all warpy, hit on the button so it centralizes it. It centers it basically, and then you can extrude. And I want to go out this way. Okay, look at that. that was kind of cool. I right? negative, but let's keep it out like that. Okay. So what I can do right now, maybe, uh, yeah, that's fine. So again, this is stuff that you guys have done with me with the chest set. So if I come over here, click once, and then uh, double click on the next one, and again, so it's looping. Okay. So left click once. Go either side, hold shift, double click, so it kind of selects the ring. So I can extrude again. Now, I don't have to press this button. Maya remembers if you press G, it knows that you want to extrude again, okay? So we're a little confused because the angles are all off, so click on this nice little button, and then go from the Y. Up it goes, okay? Now what I'll do right now is I'll make a little ring around here, and I'll click once, double click, boom, and then extrude again. This time the blue axis should work just fine going out okay and if you really want to go crazy let's just go every second one not crazy but you know interesting okay so every second one oh boy and again when you're doing this don't do it like this really spin around hold off hold option spin around get a nice view and then hold shift and there you go and then if I come up over here extrude and again I'm seeing things on an angle click on the nice little button here and then boom like that okay so we're getting it this is cool so when we're done we're always always going to object mode okay don't leave something in sub object mode I know that's 3ds max talk basically meaning if you're in face mode don't click out and go oh yeah I'm done I'm done everybody's good you see it's still active so you still want to come over here because that's when accidents happen okay so what I'll do is I'll come over here maybe and I'll in, uh, insert an edge loop for you guys, okay? Hope this isn't too long here. And you have to be in polygons, and then you'll go to Mesh, ins uh, Insert Edge Loop. What's going on here? Mesh Tools, yep. This is the next version, of course. Insert Edge Loops. Let's pop one here in here and press W to get out. Come over here and face. Click once. And again, I try to do the same uh, commands. Double click, and there it is. And this time I'll extrude inwards, okay? So we'll find the blue axis, spin around with option, and then just bring that in. Okay, so again, I'm done here. This is quick and quick blocking. So this could be an example of one of my buildings. It's not that great, but hey, it's okay. Perhaps I can taper this one down. Check it out. Edge, double click R, and then just a little narrower than the one underneath. Okay, so we don't want it to be exactly the same. So looking at it like this, object mode, come out, and let me put a ground in here. Okay, so I'll just come in here and make that 150. Boom. Look at that. And then we don't need no cuts. No, no subdivisions, please, at this point. Get rid of the grid. Say bye-bye. And then I'm going to put my film gate on. And I'm going to take a shot. Let's just do this quickly. And uh, let's bring in my uh, mental ray. Okay. And then just put a physical sun in the sky. So, again, if you don't have my uh, sorry, mental ray coming up, 
Windows Setting Preferences Plugin Manager. Okay, so you come over here, Mr. MR. <laughs> it's really uh, mentor. Okay, Maya to MR. Bundle, load, load, and then press close. Okay, so if I take my shot now, which is kind of cool, and I'll take it. There's your first building. Okay, that's looking pretty sweet. I've got some details going on. Again, um, you don't normally leave things uh, like this. Like We don't really leave sharp edges. Look around your keyboard, look around the table, uh, look at the monitor you have in front of you. We don't have really sharp edges unless it's a knife, clearly. We don't do that, okay? Perhaps I'll show you guys how to bevel, so these edges will read better um, in the next video. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm gonna um, tap out for now and say that's it, Valiant out, and we'll continue with the next one, okay? Bye-bye.